I said my line to you that it was not difficult. I will not be doing anybody any good. But it is difficult. And unless students see how this material relates to the extraordinary innovation potential of their chosen major, there is a risk of turning them off to engineering right away. This is a quote from the Boston University uh, College of Engineering, 2008. You know, if we can capture their imagination. You see, when something is even difficult, okay, but you have a certain relational and nice experience, you will go through and you will still be smiling. There's a need to provide opportunities for practical training, such as industrial laboratories in material science, automobile, electrical, electronics, biomedical, so that students can try their hands on applying their theoretical knowledge gained in the classroom into innovative designs and products. Now, I'm not talking about another university, but then there's a certain university that I went to. They have a whole workshop for students to come and try that. You can do carpentry, you can do metal work, you can do just think, everything. Just build everything. You can even be an astronaut. You have an interest in doing um, some you know, metal or carpentry work. You know, yesterday I was asked at the River Invest, you know, whether I knew about engineering from my father. No, I said no. My first you know, foray at engineering was when I worked with my father, you know, in the carpentry shop. That's where I started it. It was much later that I knew that I was even doing engineering. So me, I was born and um, called to be an engineer. <laughs> so what, after all this long talk, what have we done as engineers in Ghana? The contribution of Ghanaian engineers to STEM and development of Ghana. Despite all these challenges that are enumerated, the impact of Ghanaian engineers has been felt over the past 70 years. Remember, I told you, 1952? In Ghana, Africa, and the world at large.